Mass and gravity. What are mass and gravity really? Not as formulas, but as things you can picture. Imagine the whole universe as one huge sheet of flexible fabric, stretched out in every direction. Whenever you try to pinch a little bump into that sheet, you have to pull fabric from the area around it toward the center. That one simple move already tells you three key facts. First, the bump always tightens the fabric around it. The bigger the bump, the tighter the nearby sheet has to be. The more stable the bump, the deeper and more solid the support the sheet must provide. In energy filament theory, or EFT, that bump is a particle. A particle is not a dot floating in empty space. It is a small structure that forces the energy sea around it to pull in and tighten. Second, gravity is nothing more than the slope in that tightness. The universe does not have a built-in up or down. Those are just human labels. In F, there are only two kinds of slope. One slope runs from loose regions to tight ones, a tension slope. The other runs from messy texture to smooth texture, a pattern slope. When an apple falls from a tree, it is sliding along a tension slope, heading toward the tighter region in the sheet. Your bump has pulled the fabric snug, making a little valley of tightness. Other bumps naturally drift toward that valley. We call that drifting gravity. It is not an invisible hand that pulls. It is the fabric quietly guiding motion along its own gradient. Third, the difficulty of moving the bump is what we call mass. If you want to slide a bump to a new place, you must rearrange all the tight fabric around it. The more tightly the sheet is pulled, the harder that rearrangement becomes. That how hard is it to rewrite the pattern is the mass. A neutrino is like a tiny bump that barely tightens the sheet, so its mass is tiny. A proton is like three energy rings locked together into a big knot, pulling the fabric deep, so it is much harder to move and has a much larger mass. You can sum it up in three short lines. A particle is a bump in the sheet. The bump tightens the sheet and creates a slope, which we feel is gravity. The tighter the bump, the harder it is to move, and that resistance is mass. If this picture feels clear, you have already stepped over the threshold of one of modern physics' deepest open questions. You are looking at mass and gravity not as symbols, but as shapes in an underlying medium. Next episode, we ask why charges attract and repel, and what the dance looks like inside the energy sea. Tap follow, share it on new physics, clear universe.